Hi guys, very soon people will have, after so many years, a real chance to kick the Tories out of power. And there's the possibility that they don't win enough seats to form the official opposition. This could be a watershed moment that could really shift the needle in politics. With just days to go before the general election, Keir Starmer delivered a speech to supporters at the London Temple, where he tried to remind voters of what the Tories have done over the last 14 years. Have a listen to this. Don't forget what they have done. Don't forget Partygate. Don't forget the Covid contracts. Don't forget the lies. Don't forget the kickbacks. Don't forget the cronyism. Don't forget the division, the scapegoating of minorities, the failure to invest, the trips to the bookies, the decimation of your public services, telling working people we're all in it together. The people who hurt your family finances swanning around in the House of Lords after giving tax cuts to the richest 1% that crashed our economy. Don't forget any of it. Good, good, good. So let me go through some of the things he mentioned here. Yes, as I said before, Partygate resulted in a 6% drop in support for the Tories, and this is probably one of the biggest blunders the party inflicted upon itself. It reinforced in the minds of the public that there was one rule for the Tories and another rule for everyone else. Now, Stammer also mentioned PPE contracts, not exactly PPE contracts, but the corruption around it. Um, it, it's not as infuriating in the minds of the public as Partygate, but it upsets so many people that public money was being given to Tory friends and donors when it should have gone to the likes of the NHS or public services. Friends of the party taking advantage of a desperate time. Now, Stammer also mentioned that uh, people should not forget the lies. Well, <laughs> it needs to be a bit more specific here because... There were a lot of them, and they went on for a long time under numerous prime ministers. Then he said, don't forget about the kickbacks. I, I think he's probably still on PPE contracts, but he could also be talking about general corruption. And of course, the corruption like this damages democracy. Then he mentioned division. Yes, there have been attempts to get people who have something to be angry with those who have less. And then the Tories have attempted to convince those who have little to be angry with those who have nothing. It was good to hear Stommer also attack the Tories for scapegoating minor minorities. And we don't hear enough of that. Enough criticism, that is. Um, failure to invest. Yes, uh, I presume he's talking about the NHS and public services. Now, I hope this attack line doesn't come back to haunt him in the future because we know that the Labour Party have, saying, have been saying that they're going to take on board an absolute disaster of an economy. So we'll have to wait and see for that. Then he mentioned the trips to the bookies. Now, while this is getting a lot of traction in the media, I don't think the average voter really cares about this. They're more concerned about the cost of living crisis and the NHS. And then moving on to that, he mentioned the decimation of public services. Yes, the Tories have underfunded public services since 2010 by design. They believe government's role is not to fund, fund public services properly, but just to funnel money through them to the private sector, which charges for a profit uh, at the expense of patients and citizens, of course. Then he mentioned talking. Uh, then he mentioned uh, working people telling working people we're all in it together. <laughs> yes, this was quite funny. It was funny to listen to Rishi Sunak try to act like a normal human being. Um, then he attacked Liz Truss, not in name, but he talked about how you know cronies have been sent to the House of Lords, and uh, these are the same people who attempted to crash the economy. So it was a good speech. He showed real fire in his belly. It isn't, isn't going to be remembered in history like Tony Blair's before his landslide. But I think people are so desperate for change, this will do. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.